Hi, John Hara here with JP Haro Enterprises Learning Systems. Today I'm going to talk about supporting your team and how important that is. Why is this important? Because your team will trust you more and you'll have a better team. Do you support your team and the individuals within that team? Well, I hope you do. And after my brief intro, we'll talk about it more. Like I said, supporting your team builds trust and strength within that team. You never ever want to throw a team member underneath the bus, as we say. You always want to be there to support them and lift them up, no matter what the situation is, even if you're dealing with a customer who's a little bit upset. I want to tell you about a story the other day that happened to me. I was working in the returns department. The day was going normal as usual, and I was just there doing my job. A guest walks up with a bunch of shoes to be returned. Well, she hands me her card to look up the receipt, and I do the transaction. Well, all of a sudden, she goes off on a tangent regarding about discounts and this and that. Well, her and I, our communications and connection was off. We weren't really connecting well at all. So I called the lead over to take it over. I thought it was better. I didn't want it to go bad. Sometimes you need to do that. Well, I started to help other customers. During that point, I overheard the customer say, oh, he shouldn't be working in the returns department. He doesn't know what he's doing which was really rude on her behalf. But the other thing that did not happen was the lead did not jump in and say anything towards that. She kept her mouth totally quiet and was like shocked. The way she should have handled it was, what she should have said is, he's usually really good. There must have been a problem with communications. It must have broke down. Maybe he didn't understand your needs. So I'm here to help. That's what she should have did, but it never happened. So it irritated me. The lead need to take responsibility for what was going on. And in a way she did on one side for the customer, but not for her team member. So you need to really be there for your team members and stand up for them because it's really important. All right, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel or put your email in my blog. There's some more great things coming. I keep trying to come up with more ideas and more content. One of my goals is to generate more content. This is John Haro, and catch you on the next video. Thank you.